I'm Paula Cher. I think in my early 40s, when I had reached a, a, a sort of an a, a point where I knew I would be doing the same thing over and over again, Pentagram enabled me to do different kinds of projects that I'd never worked on. And when you're a neophyte and you don't know quite what you're doing because you've never done it before, you're capable of making breakthroughs. One of them is the High Line, which I've been working on for 12 years and designed the identity for and never thought it would get off the ground. The High Line, which was an elevated rail track in New York City. The uh, rail track was abandoned. This is what it looked like, this really beautiful, deserted, oasis in the middle of New York City. You had these spectacular views of New York City from the second floor. So I gave him a logo. Um, I gave him a train track that was an H. And we began working on this book, uh, and this was in 2001 from Design for the Public Trust. And it was a proposal to turn the High Line into a New York City park. And it has really changed a neighborhood. It's made it dynamic, exciting. It completely revolutionized a whole section of town. And another uh, success story just like that is Madison Square Park, which is less famous, which we Pentagram lives across the street from. And we actually renamed it. And uh, people don't know where Madison Square Park is. They think it's where Madison Square Garden is, and it isn't. And Madison Square Park used to be a needle park. It was a dangerous neighborhood when we moved into it. I took the three blocks, made a logo, but the most important thing I did with them is to name it Mad Square Park because it made the area identifiable to realtors. And Mad Square Park, it's now Mad Park and people know where it is, which is really fantastic. And here's the park finished when the landscaping uh, was completed. We began doing art installations with a public art fund and then took it over. And so it's a, it's a true museum in the park. This past year, there was a short show of Alexander Gormley which used the buildings of New York City as the backdrop for the show, which won Best Outdoor Exhibit in the United States. They put it in and designed a uh, hamburger stand called Shake Shack that has become internationally famous. And this is a little three-block park, so the, the whole spirit and personality of the park is pretty sensational. I continue to really enjoy environmental graphics and find new ways of um, achieving interesting environments. Very often um, public spaces re re require communication. Sometimes they require it just pu in purely terms of wayfinding. There are millions and millions of signs on parks and the reason there are millions and millions of signs on parks is people go into the park, they don't wear any shoes, they stub their toe, and then they sue New York City. So New York City is liable unless they put up a sign that says, you must wear shoes. So you go to the park and, and there's everything that you can't do. So what we did is we got rid of the no anythings and we made everything icons. We made a planning system and actually had to go inside the, the parks department and restructure the way they do these things. Environments can be tremendously exciting and motivating when, they, when it's appropriate. And um, I've had the most fun with these schools I've done where I've really been able to break some ground. There was a school in Newark, New Jersey that was a school for the performing arts and they had an ugly building that looked like this. So I, I did what I, I typically do, which is describe the function of the thing on the outside of the building, which means covering it with typography. A school is a terrific place for it because they're inhabited by people who are forming opinions. The most recent thing I've done was for uh, four public schools in Queens. I was hired as a fine artist to paint a mural in the school. This is one of my paintings that I did specifically for the school. And my idea was to uh, make this painting inhabit the whole space instead of being featured on one wall. 
Then we broke it up into panels and we had the panels repainted by a sign painter who projected my painting. I wanted this thing not to be a printout, but really to feel like an object in space. I went to school, everything was beige. It's, move, it's putting yourself in a position of free fall where, where you, don't, you cannot rely on those things you already know how to do because you become practiced and an expert and there's nothing worse than expertise for growth.